Hello again. Today I'm going to introduce you the application I made for controlling your devices from your computer. In my first video I already show you how to do that uh, without emulators and applications, but now I turn that into this application. Uh, I made this with auto hotkey, but you don't need to install it. I already compiled it to executable file. You just need to download these two files and configure your settings. But in the middle, of course, you need to configure your IFTTT as well. You we need to use IFTTT and get your key. But of course, first you need to create events. I will show you how to do that quickly without details. If you want details, you can watch the old video. To create an event, you find webhooks on FTTT. You write an event name here for yeah, turning on one of your channels or off. For one channel, you need to create two different events from my FTTT. Yeah, you need to repeat this process. Uh, I'm also telling this all in this video so you can watch. And after that, I will go faster and have to, I will show you how to find your key. And once you're done, from here you will go to webhooks. Or you can just visit this page here. You can see maker underscore books. <clears throat> and from there, you need to go to documentation. And here you will find your key. Yeah, this is your key. You need to just copy this into this area without any spacers or uh, different characters. I hide my key here. Now I can continue on that, since I tell you about that. And after that, you need to configure all the channels, on and off events. And here you can change your channel names, as you can see here. Let me just show you... Do it quickly. Yeah, it changes, but since I don't use this channel for my device, I will just go back to empty, which means empty in my language. This I mean, and let's say you have four channel device like I have, but you don't want to use this third channel. So to eliminate this, you can simply do this. You can just move this channel name here, make this empty. And you can write your channel for events here. I'm not using both actually, but I just put it there for the video. So if you do like that, it will be up and from here you can change the channel count and it will be it will not be showing the last one let's yeah like this or if you have two channel device or one channel you can also configure this as well for two or one channels it only supports until four channels so it doesn't matter if you increase that to five or anything else, it will be just showing four. And as last thing I will mention, this is the connection type that the application will make with IFTTT servers. Uh, if this one, it means secure connection HTTPS. If this zero, it means it's not secure connection. HTTP. I put this option here because in 
if I'm not wrong, in Windows XP, it was making problem with HTTPS. So if you're using Windows XP, still at 2019, uh, you can change it to zero. I tried my best to make this can work on all Windows platforms. I tried this from Windows XP until Windows 10, except Vista. I don't have it, I don't like it. Uh, I tried Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 working fine with all and I already compiled this as 32-bit as well. I will share both in description. Also I can share the auto script file itself if you want the source code and you can configure it and change it the way you want. Uh, that's all for now. If there's anything you want to ask, you can ask in comments. I will reply as fast as I can. If you need help, also let me know so I can do my best to help you. Thank you for watching. Let me know about your thoughts also.